Hello, I am at Richmond Hargill House Caravan and Motorhome Club site in Yorkshire and today is New Caravan Day and I'm going to take you with me to enjoy the handover of my new caravan. We're also going to have a look around Kimberley Caravans of Darlington, we're going to have a chat with a few people and find out how you can get the best from your caravan dealer. It's only about 15 minutes drive from Richmond Hargill House Caravan and Motorhome Club site to Kimberley Darlington and what's great about Kimberley Darlington is it's just off the A1 so it's really easy to swing by and visit even if you've got the caravan on the back. as well as take you through the customer experience of trading in your old caravan and buying a new one and the handover. I'm also going to meet some of the people here at Kimberley Caravans Darlington and find out a little bit more about what you can expect when you visit a dealership such as this and also what you can do to best work with your dealer for the best outcome to any situation. Whether it's your first visit as a tentative new caravan buyer or whether you've just bought a caravan and how to make the most of your new purchase. Let's kick off by meeting the general manager, Gary O'Brien. <laughs> Someone's keen. Andrew, uh, lovely to meet you. My name's Gary O'Brien. Mm -hmm. I'm the general manager of uh, Kimberley here at Darlington. Fantastic. How long has Kimberley been here at Darlington? Uh, actually, we're just celebrating 10 years this year. So, oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's gone very quickly, I understand. Yeah, now I've done a little bit of uh, digging about Kimberley Caravans. Yeah. And it seems that you're a very people focused organisation. Would you bear that out? Yes, people are very important to us here at Kimberley. Uh, from the staff right the way through to the end user. Uh, we're a family run business. Uh, we try and run the business as a way we would expect to be treated if we were a customer. Mm -hmm. Um, and yes, it's the foundation of the business. Uh, Gary, what brands do you sell here? Uh, Andrew, here, uh, touring caravans wise, we sell mm -hmm. Swift, uh, Coachman and Compass. Mm -hmm. uh, motorhome wise, we do a Swift, Compass and also Bailey Motorhomes as well. Oh, super. So Gary, it's no secret that the past few years have been quite challenging for everyone, from the manufacturers, the dealers and the customers with supply chain issues. How is Kimberley dealing with that? For us, it's all about the communication side mm -hmm. of things. Um, we are reliant on the manufacturers supplying vehicles to us. Mm -hmm. And with the supply chain issues, that has been very, very difficult for the manufacturers. And how are you managing that? Uh, we're managing it in terms of trying to keep them uh, informed of any slippages or any delays with the vehicles. Mm -hmm. There have been delays, uh, yeah. certainly with motorhomes, mm -hmm. but we try and keep on top of it with monthly phone calls to, to make sure that they are kept aware of what's going on. And I can vouch for that. I was phoned every month with a progress update on yeah. my, my yeah. new build. Yeah, that, that's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, I'm pleased you said that. Um, but as things happen in the manufacturing industry, things can go back even when they said they should oh, be yeah, here. They did, yeah. So it's a bit of a challenge keeping that up to date. But mm. uh, yeah, communication is key for us, trying to mm -hmm. make sure that customers are kept informed. Yeah, and tied in with that, you, you read a lot on the internet that dealers have no stock. Yeah. Well, I've just had a look around here, Gary. You've got loads of stock. What's yeah. that about? <laughs> uh, well, certainly in terms of new, uh, we'd like a lot more stock, but yeah. we have got uh, quite a little bit of stock here, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, forward ordered many, many, many months ago mm -hmm. to try and make sure we've got a continuity of supply. Excellent. And with the used market, we do try and keep up to date with what's out there being sold mm -hmm. from the end user that perhaps looking to get out of caravanning or finish with caravanning. Uh, and we get new stock in for people that want to try it for the first time. Excellent. So the use stock is very important to us as well. Yeah, yeah. So my last question, Gary, is if someone's coming in looking for a new motorhome caravan, how can they best work with Kimberley 
So what are you looking for from your customers so that everyone's happy with the end result? Um, I think they need to be transparent with us mm -hmm. uh, to give us all the information that we need to put them in the right vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly if they're first time buyers, we need yeah. to get a lot of information from them, certainly with regard to the tow car. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to make sure that they have the right layout mm -hmm. to match their needs, because as you know, there are a myriad of different layouts out there. Yeah. And the last thing we want them is to buy a vehicle that doesn't quite suit. Uh, yeah. So we ask them for a lot of information early doors, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can put them in the right vehicle. Excellent, and everyone's happy. Yeah. Well, I think it's about time I got my compass round. Okay. And uh, we did the deal. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Good. Thanks, Gary. Cheers. Thank you. The servicing and handover area is at the back of the building, which is a separate entrance. There's no need to park at the front. I only did that because I was filming. Once I reached the handover area, I met up with Benson, who is one of the handover team at Kimberley Darlington. So Benson, why is there a dedicated handover team here? We find having a dedicated handover team gives the customer more time and a better experience on handover. Yeah. Elsewhere we find that uh, the sales team do the handovers, they're more interested in sales, so what they'll do is they'll just give you the caravan and off you go. Here we do what we refer to as a wet handover, we've got gas bottle in, we've got water connected, we've got electricity connected. We can show all the appliances are working, we can show how the hot water works, we can show the control panels. We also have a dedicated Kimberley Caravans YouTube channel which also has video showing how these panels work. Right. There's a lot of information to take in on the day yeah. that you pick up. So having them something to go back to. Yeah. We also ask customers if they want to video us while we're going through the Quite handover as well yeah. with their own phone or yeah. a camera, whatever they've got. Yeah. It just means that they've got something to refer back to if they get a little bit stuck. Smashing, what can the customer do to make life easier for everybody? Be on time. Yeah. Uh, we do oh. have dedicated two hour slots. Yeah. If they're here early, we'll get onto them earlier if we can. Unfortunately, if they're late, we could end up encroaching on somebody else's slot. Right. We also would like it if the customer is very honest about their assessment of the caravan. So this is before they bring it in? Before they bring it to yeah. us. A part of the deal, they fill quite a complicated questionnaire with the salesperson for them to get a, a good description of the caravan in order to give them a fair part X value. Mm -hmm. When they come in, we reassess the caravan if it's not as declared, unfortunately, it could affect the value of the caravan. Right, so be upfront and honest. Be upfront and honest as much as you can. I mean, there's always things that are going to be hidden that the customer might not be aware of. Mm. However, if we find it, we do point it out to the customer. Right. On the actual day of handover, if they're bringing the Part X in, try and make it as clear as possible. So it's empty as possible. Empty as possible. Yeah. We do appreciate people in mid-travel. It's like me. <laughs> yeah, people coming from Scotland, you know, yeah. so we do appreciate that, that they'll have their personal stuff in. If they can box as much stuff up as possible, yeah. just to make the transfer over. And we do often give them a hand. We'll also swap over gas bottles, batteries and number plates as well. All right, so don't ever get my hands dirty. Well, obviously not. Good, good, <laughs> good. Right, Benson, that's it. Um, I can't wait any longer, I'm in suspense. Can I please now go and see my new caravan? No, not at all. <sighs> you can't, why? Why do you want to go and see your new caravan? You Come be... on! Okay, let's go. You can't get the staff these days. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Oh, Benson, you've changed. Yeah, I needed a shave. <laughs> You're looking a bit rough. Bit rough? Oh, never mind. Benson's handover was thorough without being patronising. We tried everything to make sure that everything worked. He also showed me where all the main services were, such as the fuses and the gas isolator cocks. And then once we were both happy, he left me to it, and I started bringing my boxes in from the other caravan, and obviously making sure Dougal was okay. Once I'd packed the caravan, I obviously checked the nose weight and then Benson came back to help me hitch up <laughs> and he made sure that I witnessed the all-important pre-departure safety check of torquing the wheel nuts. Once I was hitched up and boy doesn't that look smart, it was then time to head to the accessory shop where I could spend my voucher for a free Kimberley hitch cover. Of course, I couldn't just leave it there. There were some other essentials to buy as well. How exciting. 
While I was in the shop, I caught up with Nick, who is Kimberly Darlington's awning and accessory specialist. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the awning accessory specialist for the Darlington branch. Nick explained to me that when you buy a new caravan, one of the first purchases you must make is a security device or two. Uh, wheel locks, corner steady locks, all different varieties of items. All these can vary between heavy duty wheel locks, heavy duty hitch locks and all manners in between. I then asked Nick that if this was your first caravan, you'd never been caravanning before, what else would you need? So in addition to your security devices, a couple of things you will need to purchase would be things like your water containers, uh, your waste water ones for your sink and your taps, and you'll have your fresh water ones which will feed directly into your drinking water supply. A couple of other pieces would be your gas bottle. Now the gas bottles you will have to purchase to feed up to your uh, oven, and then your leisure batteries will power a number of appliances within the caravan. So another item we sell is towing mirrors. They are a legal requirement to tow a caravan, and as you can see, we do keep quite the range in stock. A pretty impressive range there. The other thing I'd noticed walking around Kimberly Darlington showroom was an array of awnings, a great way of increasing your living space. So, don't forget, you can extend your living space with the range of porches and awnings that we do keep, and as you can see, we have plenty. Many thanks, Nick. My next stop was to meet the after-sales staff at the service centre and Kimberly Darlington doesn't just have one workshop, it has two. One of them is devoted to pre-delivery inspections and one is devoted to servicing and warranty work. This is the PDI workshop where I stumbled across an old friend who was getting ready for his new home. Yes, this was a bittersweet moment. And finally, this is the servicing and warranty workshop. Right, that's me done. Okay, so that's us ready to leave. We're all hitched up, ready to go with my brand new Kimberley Caravans Explore Active 304. And I'm really looking forward to getting settled into this caravan. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, showing you around Kimberley Caravans Darlington branch. Now, full disclosure folks, and full transparency, I've paid full retail price for this caravan, which was a shade over £19,000, but that did have the added extras of the shock absorbers and the cycle rack that I had fitted. However, Kimberley Caravans are sponsoring four videos on this channel, including this one. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to Kimberley Caravans for sponsoring this video. However, the content in this video is genuine. I am so happy to be a customer of Kimberley and I'll give you a classic example folks in the past as you know when I've been without a caravan I've been left without a caravan when there were production delays with this caravan Kimberley caravans saw me they saw what I do they understand what I do and as a customer they actually let me have the compass on a buyback basis so I wasn't without a caravan. So it's that level of customer care that really, really makes a company like Kimberley stand out from the crowd. So I'm very happy to put my name to Kimberley Caravans and I'm very happy to be a customer of them. So good stuff. Anyway, folks, I can't wait to show you the, this caravan which will be the next video a full tour of that so don't go away in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already and it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me thanks for tuning in there are you excited about the new caravan Dougal are you excited about the new caravan are you excited are you excited He never smiles. Dougal, you could be a bit more enthused about our new caravan. You could be a bit more excited, a bit more animated, a bit more... Net. <sighs>